Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to review Windows Phone 7 Mango. Mango is finally out. I've installed it on my Samsung Focus, and as you can see, here's the, the main lock screen. They've updated this a little bit, and there's literally 500 updates, or so there is according to Microsoft, that they've done to this phone. One of them's right here in these uh, play, forward, and back buttons for uh, the music player built in on here, and they've enlarged them and made it easier. So let's go ahead and unlock this. As you can see, it doesn't look too much different here, other than we've got more live tile information flipping around here, and you can arrange the live tiles like you want, and that's pretty much it. They have changed f things all over the place, though. When we drop this down, uh, some of the icons are a little bit bigger and that sort of thing, but let's go into the real changes that matter. Uh, first of all, let me just say that I like Windows Phone 7 Mango a lot. It adds very important features that really bring it up to speed and in some ways make it better than Android and iOS and the others out there. Uh, in other ways, it's, it's kind of lacking as far as applications. There's a ton of them, but we'll go into that in a moment. So first, one of the big changes they did is they integrated Twitter into the People Hub. Now, for those of you that don't know, the People Hub takes all of your Facebook information, anything about people, and puts it here. The idea is that each one of these is a hub in all of the information related to that specific thing, such as messaging, people, uh, music, is all under one place. So you don't have to go to multiple places, like say, for instance, on an iPod or an iPhone, you have your music and then your videos in a separate place, then your messaging for one thing and then a Facebook app. This is a different take on that. So let's go ahead and go into people. And people, what it does is takes Twitter and Facebook and puts them on one screen together. So as you can see, uh, that's Ryan Block of Engadget. He's on here. I'm following him on Twitter. And we have Ars Technica, all sorts of things. So we can scroll down, take a look at all the people, all the Twitter news, all in one place. And if we want, we could take this. We could retweet. And we have some options to retweet. If it's, a, if it's Twitter, it just recognizes it and says, oh, you might want to retweet that and gives you those options to do that. We can pivot here. I can kind of put my own status here. And when I do that, I could say post a message and uh, Mango review. You can see it will auto-correct it, or I can select. And it says, where do you want to post it to? Windows Live, Facebook, Twitter, and we can select those here. I'll go ahead and post that, and that's that. And it's posted. It does that in the background, and we're done. So it's really nice it combines it all into one place. Along with the People Hub, they've changed the Messaging Hub. The Messaging Hub now combines not only your text messages, but also your Facebook account. So if there's a Facebook account, you can chat in here and set your status. So if we go into Messaging, and down here we have some options, but here's a status button. So let's go ahead and hit Status, and I can appear offline or available. We'll go available since I am. and if I'm online and someone sees me on Facebook and wants to reach me, they simply message me. It comes through as though it's a text message, and we're good to go. And I'll just answer that. So here's my brother. Uh, we've got the information. It will show up the exact same thing. I was talking about the new Switchfoot album, and I was listening to that in the Music Hub. So here we have the Music Hub, and this combines your your music and videos and all that, podcasts. And podcasts is one of the added things. Now, I'm not going to talk about every little thing they've added. I just want to kind of do a quick overview. But they've added better ways to search in the marketplace. If you have a Zoom pass, you can just grab that music on the fly. We can search for Switchfoot. I've already got it, but uh, just to give you an idea, there it is. Music, artist. You can see how fast and fluid everything is. So. There's two albums. I downloaded the deluxe album. You hit download. This will start to download. We can listen on the fly. It's really quite nice. The thing that they've added, though, that's significant to me is podcasts. I listen to a lot of podcasts. You can see here's some featured, top, new, and these are all the podcasts. And I have podcasts right here that I listen to, Mac Break Weekly, today, uh, Tech News Today, Twit, a lot of things from Leo Laporte and those guys, Major Nelson. And it will download this over 3G if you want it to, or you can just have it download over Wi-Fi. It'll find a new episode, 
pop it in here and you're ready to go. So when you go on the road or wherever you're listening to it, uh, you open it up and you may find you have a new episode. So you can see it says one episode, one new. And it works really well. Now, they've dramatically changed Internet Explorer in the version to IE9. In IE9, I was tracking something I ordered on uh, eBay. But you can see the, the bars down here on the bottom now. And they've actually added hardware acceleration to this. So the, the websites are very fast. Let's go to Zolotech. Uh, Zolotech. It'll do a search, kind of. It'll say, you'll find it web. It'll find it local. It'll find images. We'll wait for this to load. Let me show you images quick. Searching just my website's name, these are all different images it comes up with. A lot of them are phone reviews, and I'm not really sure some of the others, but let's go back to web. We'll go to my website here. And you can see it loads pretty quickly. Uh, there is not flash integration in the browser, but it does everything else pretty well. See, it's, well, I said it was loading quickly. For some reason, it's taking a while, but that could be my site itself. I'm not really sure. Uh, overall, though, it's quick. You can just scroll, pinch to zoom. It's really fast. It's as fast as any other modern smartphone. And this is a single core processor. So let's talk about the search function they've added. If we hit this button here, search they've updated. And I did a very in-depth, thorough overview of this, of this feature uh, on another video. So you may want to check that out. I think it's under Mango, Mango Search, and you'll find it. Uh, but you can do a visual search. And this kind of combines your... Uh, zip code and barcode reading products with other things. But let's do a quick example. Scan barcodes, QR tags, uh, books, CD, CDs, or DVDs. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Here I have a Rapsol. Uh, I haven't announced the winner, but here's a Rapsol product. Uh, let's see if we can use the camera wherever it is. Oh, oh, I hit the camera button. Let's go back out. Okay, scan. There. Scanned. It says it's what it is. It's a Rapsol iPad 2. It says image not found, so let's go to the one with the image. And, oh, that page isn't working. Uh, let's go to the top one. But you saw how fast that happened. It's pretty impressive how quickly it does. You can also scan text and all sorts of things. It's pretty impressive what, the, what it's capable of. Now that we've scanned that, let's go back. And we'll go back. And we also have voice search, music search, Location search, eat and drink, it's going to use GPS, find things around me, all sorts of things, and it's really nice. And if you want to see an in-depth overview, you can see that. Uh, there's the Pictures Hub as well. So let's go into Pictures. Other than pictures I've taken, what this is doing is pulling pictures from Facebook and, and throwing them on here all live. So there's Thousand Foot Crutch, uh, Autoblog things from Twitter that I follow, Facebook that I follow. It's really quite nice. Throws them all in the pictures. So any picture you take throws into there uh, under albums or pictures you save. And it's, it's very nice. Uh, Xbox Live, they've changed also. They've changed Xbox Live. Uh, looks a little bit different. Added some fun functionality. Added some updates. My gamer score there uh, with my name, Big Z. Uh, and you can see it just looks a little bit different if you use the other. If not, you're going to be pleased with its, with its capabilities and you can change your avatar, all that sort of thing. Let's move on to the camera. The camera you can access quickly by just holding down the camera button. And they've added some settings. Uh, there's some things such as disabling and enabling the shutter sound if you don't want that. Uh, some more image uh, balancing things and bal or, uh, settings rather. And they just gave you also smoother 720p video recording. Uh, it also supports a front-facing camera for things like the HTC Titan that aren't out yet. Now other than that, there are significant updates uh, all over the place, not just to the UI but to, to load times. This also, also multitasks, so if you hold the back button, these are things that are open. Now it has to be specifically written to multitask or it won't work as quickly. Uh, you can see that was pretty quick but it needs to be written to multitask or else it just won't multitask like you're used to. Uh, but once those apps start rolling in uh, with multitasking, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, if I had to say there's a downside, it might be the apps, but really the apps aren't too much of a concern nowadays. If we go to the marketplace, you're going to find just about everything you want. You can see there's some suggested apps, there's some games, uh, music is in the same place. That's a little bit weird, but 
not a big deal. Let's go to apps. You can see how quick and fluid this UI is. It's just really nice to use overall. One of the other things they've changed is they've made the inboxes all one. So if we go into inboxes, you can see this is from multiple email addresses or multiple email boxes. So here we have Hotmail, Google, or Gmail, uh, Zolotech, and my mobile me account. And they're all in the same inbox. We have unread, flagged, urgent, all. And we can just go through here, and you can see how quick it is. If we want to quick delete something, we can just tap here, delete, it's deleted. It. So it's really quick to use. Uh, they've added other things support-wise for the inbox, but uh, that's the major thing, threads, that sort of thing. Uh, one feature that, to me, is kind of a killer feature for this is in the messaging when you have Bluetooth. If you have a Bluetooth headset or in my case I link it with my car and have Bluetooth. What it will do is when you get a text message coming in it will actually read it to you and say do you want to respond? You respond with voice you say what you want it to say and then you tell it to send and it will send it. There, You don't have to take your hands off the wheel it will come in it'll shut the music off or fade the music out bring the voice in read to you your text then ask you if you want to respond and it's all done via voice and it works extremely well and uh, I was really impressed you can do that at any time when you're texting someone uh, this is my brother if I want a voice text I can do that here Say your message. how are you today there we go and it usually works very well you can see how are you today and I can hit send it will send but it works really well uh, there's not a ton more I want to go into right now, uh, but overall I think Mango is a much needed and a very welcome update and brings this phone up to speed and then some with other operating systems that are currently out there. I can't wait to see what Microsoft has in the future with the future updates like Tango and I can't remember the one that's coming after that. But hopefully uh, they get to push them qu more quickly than they did this time. They have to wait for AT&T's approval and that sort of thing. Uh, overall, though, I think this is a great phone. I would highly recommend Mango to anyone. Phone, uh, this is a Samsung Focus. There'll be some new devices out soon. It's really going to be your preference what you want to do. We won't talk about that now, but overall the operating system is very fast and very nice to use. If you have any questions, though, that you want to know specifically about here that I could go more in depth for you, uh, before you make a decision buying the phone or buying a Windows phone, uh, please feel free to comment below and I'll try and answer those the best I can, uh, either in a comment or another video. Thanks to everyone that has subscribed. If you haven't done that already, please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Arab. I'll see you next time.